So as we all know, Terraria has a bunch of secret seeds that do a couple of interesting things. Ones that make the game harder, ones that add both the corruption and the crimson, ones that make the player starve, and ones that even turn the whole world into a jungle. Well, what happens if you combine all of those secret seeds into a singular map? Well, we're about to find out because in this map that was published to the Steam Workshop, you can experience every single seed at the exact same time. Yeah, that's right. Even including this special effect. So right now I'm using a radio thing, but if I take it off, this really is a constant world seed. It really is a feather worthy seed and a, and a not the bees and a celebration mark 10. There is so much to this. So the map developer has been nice to the player and said, you know what? You might need some starting gear. Well, I say this, we do not need it. We press onwards. So in today's video, we're going to be checking out the world and just seeing what it's like. You know, what is it like? So I believe what the map developer's done here is taken elements of all of them, kept all of the special effects, and even included a few little secret structures just to find along the way. Oh my god! Really? Which seed has landmines? What? <laughs> so already, my player is like, yeah, I'm really- Oh my god, right. Please. Okay, we're going to have to really pay attention during this. You don't want to play this if you're playing on hardcore. No, no, no. Uh, I wanted to go left, but the spider said otherwise. Really? There? <laughs> Why? Okay, so this is a good sign. We have a giant living wood tree. And look at what you've done. Why have you done this? What is this about? <laughs> you've, you've made something truly, truly awful. I'll say this. This might be the- no, whoa, 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 whoa. How did that spider get through? This might actually be the world's hardest Terraria vanilla map. It must be. Let's see if I can make them trigger a landmine. <laughs> oh my god. Amazing. Also, we can't descend downwards because we don't have torches. And we also get killed in the dark. Oh my god, it worked. Hell yes, I am a genius. <laughs> this is incredible. Thank you. Landmines are, are kind of brilliant now. All right, so we have gel. We can make torches and we can go into that living tree. Hey, so quick channel update. Today we actually hit 955,000 subscribers, meaning we're only 45,000 away from the big 1 million. If you're enjoying today's video, well, we make lots of stuff like this on the channel. So head down there and click that subscribe button. It's completely free. You can change your mind later and it really helps out the channel. So we've managed to find our first chest. Now, if this is the Celebration Mark 10 seed, this should have a good reforge on it, whatever it is. Let's double check. Shoddy. Interesting. So they've not gone down that route. Still, instead, they've given us something completely awful. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. You can get a, <laughs> you can get bombs from pots. Oh no! <laughs> Watch out! I tell you what, I've got something for this gnome. There you go, buddy. <laughs> Landmines might be my new favorite weapon. I might have to try a landmine-only playthrough at some point. Oh my god! <laughs> Explosive bunnies and and gnomes. Okay, there you go. Or right, we got rid of one of them. All right, if we leave this one alone, will it actually... Oh, wait, okay, I know. There you go. That's fine. All right, good. I thought, how are we going to deal with this? Oh, a step stool. Oh, amazing. Best accessory in the game, am I right? Great. <laughs> Another landmine. So one thing I am slightly curious about is which NPC is going to spawn in, because each secret seed actually gives you a, a different NPC. So not the bees will give you access early to the merchant... Uh, Celebration Mark 10, I believe, is maybe the party girl. Drunk Seed is is the party girl. Uh, Feather Worthy is the demolitionist, I think. So it's hard to tell if this is a bug or it's intentional. We're not playing journey mode, we're playing master mode. And right now, the sun is not moving. So maybe time was frozen when the map was created. Maybe it wasn't. But I tell you what, I actually kind of like it. It's nice playing with uh, Eternal Daylight. Right, this is kind of interesting. So I've made it to the jungle, and you can see what they've taken from not the bees. So there's surface honey, and there's also these uh, these spawners for the queen bee. Just out in the open, you know, for anybody to break. Let's be real here. I'm clearly going to break one. Uh, I, I Actually, do you know what? I feel like we kind of have to. I feel like for science, I need to see what the queen bee looks like in this seed. 
Will it actually be all, all warped and stuff from for the worthy? Okay, let me spawn it in quick before... Uh... <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't mean that quick. So I tell you what, maybe I'll admit defeat and we'll take a little bit of uh, of loot with us. I'll take a Finch Staff. I'll take a free life upgrade uh, and a Mana Crystal. Sure. What's this? Roasted Bird? Oh yeah, I'll, I'll take a Roasted Bird. Go on then. Hey, look at that. I found Moon Lord's legs. All right. Now you know it's the Drunk Seed. Oh my god, it's so good. It's so good. I actually genuinely love this vanity. Like, it, it, it is a big meme, sure. But it's also just kind of great, isn't it? So I just want to say, you know that this world is scuffed because NPCs are not actually moving in, even though it's eternal daytime and it's kind of perfect for them. So that isn't really a good sign. Also, these cactuses are deadly now, which isn't ideal. Oh my god. Right. I have a suspicion that the map maker might actually be evil. If you know this person in real life, be afraid. So I do want to say, by the way, outside of the landmines and the fact that time doesn't seem to work, so you can't really do some of the bosses, this is one of the coolest maps I've ever played. Like, I genuinely love the idea behind this map. I think it's I think it's so cool. Like, why wasn't this done sooner? Do you know what I mean? I really, really love it. And honestly, if you've got the time, check this out. It's so good. So I've never actually seen somebody do this before, but what I think they've done is actually remove all the leaf block from these living trees. And I gotta say, I quite like it. I feel like this maybe should be the trees that you find in the constant seed. Maybe paint them gray so that it looks like they're withering away. Yeah. These are really cool. They kind of work. It takes a moment to get used to because it's a little bit odd, but yeah, I'm vibing with it. Right, so I've managed to find the Crimson. So theoretically, this map also has uh, the Corruption as well, but I'm kind of nervous. I don't, I'm, I'm nowhere near strong enough to, to make it through uh, for the Worthy Crimson. So I think the, the run might end here, being honest. Oh, there was a landmine there. No way. So that pot actually saved me from a landmine. Yeah, that's kind of incredible. I need to I need to start gathering landmines up again, or at least start using them as weapons, because they're so good. Whoa! Wow. Okay, interesting. So we just got a very rare drop on our first go. And the thing about this is, this is actually, like, such a good little sword. Like, look at the damage on that. It's really good for, for what it was. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes, landmines are really working in my favor today. <laughs> wait, no, no, wait, sorry. <laughs> I'll bleep that. Um, yeah, crimson enemies are very tough. Oh my god, stop. Stop. Every time I think, like, I'm in the clear, that there are no more left in the world, because I've kind of been this way, <laughs> I can't believe it. I must be the most, like, gullible Terraria player in the world. How am I falling for this every time? Right, so the plan is to not trigger a landmine. No. I want to see what the Queen Bee looks like. I want to see if they've gone all out, if they've actually managed to perfect all of the special effects. Let's find out together. Oh, it's teeny tiny Queen Bee. Yes. <laughs> they nailed it. They absolutely nailed it. Oh, I love that. So I think that's going to be it for today's adventure from Backwards Terraria. Hey, if you want to see more stuff like this, this is kind of our thing. So get subscribed by subscribing to Chippy Gaming. You're in the one-stop place for all your Terraria needs. This was super fun. See you in the next one, guys. Peace.